Hi, welcome back. In this lecture, we'll create and set up Spring Boot project in IntelliJ IDEA. Well, we are going to use Spring Initializer to quickly create a Spring Boot project and then we'll import that project in IntelliJ IDEA. Well, head over to the browser. I'm in a Chrome browser. In a new tab, just type start.spring.io. This will bring up Spring Initializer website. Well, Spring Initializer is a website or a web tool which we can use to quickly create a Spring based applications. Now let's fill up all the project information over here. Here you can see project type. We have two types of project, Maven project and Gradle project. So let's keep Maven project as selected and language. So here we have three JVM languages, Java, Kotlin and Groovy. We are going to use Java. So let's select it, Java as it is. And here we are going to use Spring Boot version 2.6.7. Well, Spring Boot team basically recommend this stable and latest release of Spring Boot version. So let's keep this version as selected as it is and go to project metadata section over here and let's fill up all this project metadata information so let's give group as net dot java guides and then artifact id something like spring boot spring boot kafka tutorial okay and name is same as artifact so let's keep name as spring boot kafka tutorial description as demo project for spring boot and kafka package name as net.javagate.springboot all right and packaging as a jar and java version 11 so you can use a java version as 8 11 17 18 as per the java installation on your machine but I am going to use Java 11 over here. Next, go to the dependency section and click on add dependencies over here and just go ahead and select Spring Web Dependency. Well, we are going to you know, develop simple REST APIs. That's why we are going to select Spring Web Dependency over here. Next, we are going to choose the Kafka dependency that is Spring Kafka dependency well here you can see spring for apache kafka well this is the dependency that is provided by spring team to support kafka with spring boot and spring framework so go ahead and choose spring for apache kafka dependency over here all right so this is a very important dependency guys in order to support apache kafka in a spring or spring boot applications spring team has provided this spring for apache kafka dependency well that is pretty much it now let's go ahead and let's generate this spring boot application as a zip file so let's click on generate button over here this will generate this spring boot application as a zip file so now open this zip file in a folder and let's let's extract this zip folder so once you extract this zip folder then open the IntelliJ idea so i'm going to open the IntelliJ idea over here and here you can see a couple of options new project open get from cvs well we are going to open the existing spring boot project in IntelliJ idea that's why click on open over here and then go to the location where your spring boot application is downloaded so in my case in a downloads folder and i'm going to choose spring boot kafka tutorial project over here and click on open so this will open spring boot application in a IntelliJ idea now we have successfully imported Spring Boot application in an IntelliJ IDEA. Now let's go ahead and let's run our Spring Boot application just to make sure that our Spring Boot application is running properly. So I'm going to open this main entry point class from here. We are going to run the Spring Boot application, right? And there we go. Our Spring Boot application is up and running on embedded Tomcat server on port 8080. It means that we have successfully you know generated spring boot application from spring initializer and then we have imported in IntelliJ idea and then we ran our spring boot application and you can able to see that spring boot application is successfully running on port 8080 all right great i will see you in the next lecture